Hello everyone, today I am here with a video that is going to be all about my most read authors. I have a list of 10 authors of which the books I have read the most of during my life. So I'm going to start at the bottom of my list and work the way up. So number 10 on this list is David Eddings with eight books. That includes the five books of the Belgariad and the three books of his Illenium trilogy. I very, very much preferred the Belgariad to the trilogy. It was a fantastic, fantastic series, and it kind of goes to one of my top favorite series of all time. At number nine, the next author on the list is Cassandra Clare. I have read the first five of six books for the Mortal Instruments series, and I've read the entire Infernal Devices trilogy, and I have the I have the Shadow Hunter Codex, but I have not actually read it yet. And I'm not sure where the book is, but I have also read the book that was by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black, The Iron Trials. Coming in at number eight is Owen Colfer. I have read almost all of the Artemis Fowl series. I have not read the final book in the series because I really, really just don't want this series to end. I have also read The Supernaturalist by him, and I believe it's called Airman. It was not my it was not my most favorite book by him, but I did read it and I did enjoy it. It just wasn't my favorite, so I don't own it. Number seven on the list is the Dark Jewel series by Anne Bishop. This series is extremely dark and very adult and it is one of my favorite series of all time and I absolutely love the entire series by Anne Bishop. I have read 10 books by Anne Bishop. Number six on this list is Catherine Lackey. She wrote the Guardians of Gahul series of which I did read 13 books of and then the companion novel. I do own book 14, but that was when I had decided that I had had enough of that. These are all of the books that I own in this series, mostly because the library had the first two or three books, and then I had a friend who had up to book six, so I only had to buy from that point on. Number five on this list is Anne McCaffrey with her Dragon Riders of Pern series. With this series, I have read 19 books by Anne McCaffrey. I love that this takes place from the beginning of people inhabiting this planet and goes into the point where they actually manage to rescue the entire planet. It is a fantastic, fantastic series, and I do highly recommend it. At number four, with 20 books read by her, she's got a couple of new ones coming out that I am greatly looking forward to, but at the moment, it's at 20. With these, I almost have all of the books in this series that I have read by Patricia Briggs, who is author number four on my list. I have read 20 books by her. Eight of these books is from the Mercy Thompson novels. A couple of these books I own from the Alpha and Omega series. There are a couple more that I don't own. This book is book number two in her series that happens on a different world that she made. I've got the Dragon Blood and Dragon Bones duet, Raven Strike and Raven Shadow duet as well. For number three on my list, I fortunately do not have a big load of books to hold up because they were all on my Kindle. I was, however, given this graphic novel version of Guilty Pleasures by Laurel K. Hamilton. I did read this book by Laurel K. Hamilton in her Anita Blake series. I have read a total of 25 books. Number two will be kind of difficult for me to hold. Number two on the list has 27 books and I think I own about that many of them even if they are not quite specifically all of the books that I have read by him. All right, just, nope, oh, okay. A little more playing Play around with them. I don't think I can get these all in the picture together. The next author, number two on my list, is R.A. Salvatore. He wrote the Legends of Dritzt series that started the same year I was born, in 1991, and he has been writing ever since. 
He has come out with a lot of books in this series, and I don't even own all of them. Almost all of them in? Oh. And there they went. I think that's about all of the success that that one is going to get as far as showing you guys all of them. Here they are, sitting on my shelf. <laughs> Fortunately for my number one author, I don't have all of the physical copies of this author either, which is great because I failed with the 27 books of R.A. Salvatore. I would completely, completely fail with the 36 books that I have read by this author. The author I am talking about is Sherilyn Kenyon. I have probably mentioned her enough that you guys are getting tired of me, of hearing me talk about her on this channel, but she's seriously, seriously a great author and I will automatically buy all of her books. It doesn't matter what they're about. They're fantastic. She has The Chronicles of Nick, which are YA. She has the Dark Hunter, Were Hunter, Dream Hunter uh, series that all kind of weave together in a world that is in paranormal romance, really, is what the adult novels are. She has the League series, and she's just a fantastic, fantastic writer. She has three books coming out this year. As far as physical copies go, these are the ones that I have. I have started collecting her, but it's going to take a while to collect all of the books in physical format. I have them all in um, Kindle version, except for her League series, which I did actually just start buying the books themselves instead of buying them on the Kindle because I knew that I would absolutely fall in love with them. So that was my top 10 most read authors. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Please tell me your most read authors or if you like any of the authors I've read and if you want to recommend an author based on what I've read. I would love, love, love to hear what you have to say. I think that's all I have for this video. So I'll, I will see you guys next time. Bye.